This week we're going to be making a riff on an old fashioned. So this is made with cognac instead of whiskey. I thought this would be a nice kind of Christmassy, wintry season drink and just a, you know, something else to offer instead of just a regular old fashioned. It's a nice easy formula for a drink. So why not play around with the spirit? And after we made that drink, I think it was the Bijou that had cognac in it. No, maybe it wasn't the Bijou, it was the, um, that was it, it was the French Manhattan, which I'll um, stick a little link to up here. But that was just so delicious, it really took me by surprise, I've never really drunk much cognac, and the fruitiness of it, almost like the raisiny kind of, I know it's made from grapes, so that makes sense, but I don't know, you kind of think of cognac as like a sort of a, an old gentleman's drink, you know, quite old fashioned really, not no, no pun intended there, but quite old fashioned and not something that is really popular anymore. But I'm here to repopularize it. So we're gonna be using two ounces of cognac, a quarter of an ounce of sugar syrup. I'm using a demerara syrup here. So that's one part demerara sugar to one part water. And then a couple of dashes of Angostura and orange bitters. Now this is quite flexible. Like you wanna use maple syrup to sweeten it. You can use maple syrup. You want to, not have all your ice be stuck together in one, that would also be good. Um, you can vary the amount of, uh... all right, last one, come on, there we go. Now I've got soaking wet hands, you can get some ice tongs. You can vary the amount of sweetener that you use if you like your drinks on the sweeter side, then you can increase that maybe to half an ounce or if you really just want a touch of it, then you can decrease it as you see fit. So we're gonna go in with two ounces of cognac. I sort of feel like I've discovered something that I've been missing out on for a really long time with cognac. We always just associate bourbon as being sort of this more wintry, let's put it in all the seasonal drinks thing, but I think that cognac needs to have its moment. All right, and then a quarter of an ounce of syrup. And then the bitters again is pretty flexible. I'm going for like three of each. And if you have some, oh God, some fancy bitters, some other ones, different flavors that you think would play nicely here, then give them a try. I'm just using Angostura and orange because that's what I have around at the moment but you can feel free to play with that. So we're gonna stir this for about 30 seconds. I've popped an ice cube in my rocks glass and I'll see you on the other side of the stirring. All right, I think uh, something I'm gonna add on to my Christmas list is gonna be one of those Japanese bar spoons. So if you notice this one, we've got kind of the swizzly bit on this end and the spoon on this end. They make these Japanese ones which do tend to be longer, which I just think looks really elegant. And the other end just kind of goes down to a slight bulbous point at the end rather than this or this. Um, and they just look very graceful and elegant to stir with. So I think that's what I'm gonna be asking Santa for. Okay, let's strain this over our ice cube. And let's garnish it with a nice big orange peel. Okay, so I'm just gonna spritz that around. I think you could use lemon as well if you would prefer. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. It smells very orangey. These oranges are super overpowering. I'll dissipate in a minute once those oils have dispersed, but let's give it a taste. Gosh, it's so smooth. Wow, there's none of that bite that you get with a whiskey old fashioned at all. I like that a lot. That is. Yeah, dangerous. Those could slip down. There's a slight smokiness there, almost a little kind of fireside 
vibes going on. Um, yeah, you're definitely getting some of that kind of raisiny. And it's not super sweet, but a little bit of that in the background. And yeah, definitely, uh, maybe not as much fireside, maybe more kind of cigar box smokiness in there. That's really nice. But like I said, be careful, that slips down too easily. And I feel like as compared to its whiskey um, counterpart, that is a very dangerous drink, therefore, especially during the holiday season, I'll just uh, put my little friendly reminder out there to not over drink and drink yourself silly or get into any bad situations, but to enjoy it responsibly. Um, so yes, I would say one of those would be the perfect accompaniment to your virtual Christmas party or holiday party, Thanksgiving party, whatever's on your calendar. Cheers. Thank <music> you.